Hi, this is Gretchen from Mastering the Print Module in Lightroom. We're going to work on creating this uh, custom layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by selecting the collection that I want to work with. I'm going to choose uh, this collection here, my marketing postcard. I picked some images out for a marketing postcard. So we're going to go over to the print module now. And the first step that I have you guys do is I have you select custom package. Mine is already selected, but if yours isn't, you want to go ahead and select custom package right here in the right panel where it says layout style. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to clear any formatting. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, go down to the section that says cells. See that's right here? And we're going to click clear layout. So now my layout is cleared, but the page still isn't the size that I want it to be. Um, before I go down there, I want to make sure that my ruler unit is in inches, which it is, because I'm going to go down here and I'm going to choose the size of my page. And I want my page to be, let's see, I want it to be, um, I can't even remember if it's, nope, that's not the right one I want. I want it 10 or 6 inches high and I want it 10 inches wide. Nope. See, I had it backwards again. 10 inches high and 6 inches wide. That's what I wanted. Okay, so that's what I want. So, then the next thing that we want to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to add some photo cells to the page. So what we're going to do is we're going to be adding some cells. Come back up here to the panel that says cells. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some cells. Now I wanted to add them in a certain order. And that's the instructions that I give you so that when they come up, <clears throat> excuse me, when they come up, they will uh, be placed in your image in the right order. So we're going to first add a three by three. But you might have a three by three button, but I don't right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick any one of these, it doesn't matter which, but I'm going to click the drop down arrow and I'm going to click edit. And then this button, uh, or sorry, this box pops up and allows you to choose how big you want the box to be. And then I'm going to click add and look, there's my three by three. And then the next one that I want you to add is a six by four. And that one pops up there. Then another three by three and then another and then another. And now our whole entire page is uh, covered with cells and that's the one that I want you to create so now what you've got is is you've got a page that's got one two three four five cells and it's ten inches wide it's six inches tall and then you can um, add your pictures after that and then um, once you add your pictures you're going to be able to get an opportunity to um, play around. So let's, I'm going to just show you an example of adding, adding some photos. So let's say I want to add this wedding photo up here. Okay. So that's them and that's kind of, it's placed pretty well that, and that's good. I like that. So let's maybe put this one of the senior and we'll put her right there. Okay. Let's say I want to move her picture a little bit. So watch what happens. If I just click and move, it actually moves the cell. Okay, we don't want to move the cell. What we want to move is we want to move the picture within the cell. So I'm going to have to push Control or Command and hold it, and then click and hold, and that'll move the photo within the cell. Okay? There you go. Let's see. Let's find another one that might be a good one for, um, <clears throat> excuse me, for my marketing postcard. Here's a, a pretty one. There we go. Did it drag? It didn't drag. There we go. There we go. Nice. I like that. Or here. Oh, here's one of some kids. There you go. Because I want to kind of mix up the genres. There we go. Um, let's see. Um, here's another family one that's kind of nice. Okay. And if I want to move it, again, I push Control, and then I click and hold, and I can move it. If I don't do the control and try to move it, then this is what happens, which I don't want to do. Okay. Another helpful tool that I like, and I think that you should really consider it right here um, in the rulers, grid, and guides, right by where you set the inches, just below that, is grid snap. Okay, now that tells you how to snap. And what that means is, is that as you're moving the cells around, how will it snap it into place? If you have it off, then what it does is it just moves it around randomly, and you could spend a lot of time trying to get it into position of where it's supposed to be. If you push um, 
grid snap to cells, then what it does is it gets it close to, see how when you start to get close to another cell, it'll snap it over to that cell so that they all line up nicely. I really like using that option because that way when you're placing your um, cells on the page, you don't have any gaps in between the cells. If you want to choose grid, then when you turn on this page grid here, it'll snap the pictures to the grid. So that's up to you. You can choose how to, where to um, snap them, but I like to snap to cells. Okay, so then let's see. I'm going to go ahead and stick one more senior in here just for fun. There we go. There's another senior. See, he's kind of cut off on the top, so I'm going to pull it down a little bit. Da, da, da. There you go. Okay, so now I've got this marketing postcard, and if I want to go ahead and print it now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to click Print to File, and then um, a window is going to pop up, and it's going to ask me where do I want to print my photo to, or where do I want to save it to, and then you can click wherever you want to save it. You can save it all these different places you know like this is just where mine but you obviously can choose wherever you want to save it and I could choose to put it in this one I could say um sample or whatever you want to name it and then you click save and then you'll see over here that is starting to prepare the print job okay there you go that's how you do a picture or that's how you do a collage thanks